Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video is looking at uh, changes in lifestyle and buying behaviour, um, which is uh, this bullet point here. And we're looking at this in the context, of course, of our PESL analysis, our analysis of the uh, social environment and how changes in the social environment present opportunities and threats to businesses. So, um, lifestyle refers to the decisions an individual takes in relation to how they allocate their resources in terms of time and income. In other words, what are people choosing to do um, with their, you know, arguably their two most precious resources, their time and their money. Okay, so it can include people's attitudes to work. It can include the leisure activities that people choose to engage in. Um, just general attitudes to um, the environment, to uh, men and women, to um, people from different cultures, to religion, uh, the values that people hold um, and the opinions that they have. So lifestyle um, uh, refers to kind of all of these things um, and, you know, literally it means how do you live your life? So. Here are a few uh, examples of lifestyle changes in the UK in recent years and you know you've got to think about of course when you're looking at these so what are the opportunities that these lifestyle changes these changes in attitude or the uh, activities that people are choosing to engage in how is that going to present opportunities for business and how is that equally going to be, uh, present threats so um, you know, one of the huge changes in terms of uh, lifestyle and, and attitude is um, the attitude towards traditional male and female roles. Okay, and, and okay, so we can think about in the workplace, you know, in the 1970s, the term housewife was often used, and um, you know, people. Women, the role of women was seen as housemakers and to stay at home and look after the children. Um, but in the last kind of uh, 30 years or so that that's definitely changing um but i'm not just talking about in the workplace and and, and the the emergence of kind of you know uh females as a really important part of the workforce in, in, including in management positions um i'm also talking about just in terms of like product so you know over the course of my lifetime and uh, in my 30s i've i've seen a um a move to kind of the feminization of men um, you know moisturizers available for men um, you know kind of you know vests and things that you know things to keep men warm when I was kind of uh, younger and growing up it was probably coming to an end but men you know it was seen as you know you're seen as a bit uh, not very tough if you were kind of uh, wrapping up against the cold but you've got these kind of Under Armour products you know they're called Under Armour and um, you know they're there to keep you warm it's essentially a vest but but um you know slightly men are more prepared to to engage in in things that they uh, wouldn't before which creates all sorts of opportunities um for businesses and equally uh, i'm sure that's true of females as well um people having a desire to travel and to see the world okay like the emergence of kind of weekend and city breaks uh, that wasn't necessarily a thing, uh, you know, 25 or 30 years ago. You had your, your 10 day, your two week holiday in the summer. Um, young people are far more prepared now to have a city break. They go off for the weekend and they come back. Um, and going off to more far flung places of the world as well. Taking the six month, uh, you know, round the world trip uh, is far more kind of common these days. Um, perceived pressures on time, which, you know, it's, uh, I'm saying perceived, but it's, it's probably true. I mean, I don't have any statistics to back that up, but my gut instinct is that people are spending more time at work, which creates uh, time pressures elsewhere. The need for childcare, for example, um, for parents, or and the need for kind of instant meals or uh, people eating out. Huge, huge industry, the, the kind of, uh, you know, People, businesses that cater for lunchtime office workers and people eating out in the evening because they feel that they don't have time to eat and certainly you know instant meals and all of that kind of stuff uh, prepared in supermarkets. Um, attitudes to health and fitness have changed you know 
uh, the emergence of diet products and uh, gyms and books about fitness and health and all the rest of it um, all coming out. Um, ethical attitudes and consumption, so trying to, you know, uh, although there is a, um, you could argue there's more of kind of a throwaway society where people, you know, buy clothes and that they're only interested in keeping them for a season and then they'll throw them away. Um, but there's also um, a, a kind of the counter to that is an emergence of, um, you know, a, a, ethical attitudes to consumption, you know, recycling and uh, waste reduction and um, ensuring that the workforce is treated fairly and wanting products that are produced by companies that treat their workforce well. Um, views on marriage have changed, you know, uh, single sex marriage has become a thing in the UK. People tend to be marrying later um, than they used to, certainly for, for my parents' generation. Um, you know, people are waiting to have babies until they're in their 30s. Um, and uh, that kind of ties into with traditional male and female roles, the, the emergence of kind of the paternity break and requirement for flexible working uh, conditions. And I'm going to do a video on the rise of online technology and uh, uh, but the use of social media and kind of the ubiquitousness of, of technology. It's, it's, it's you know, really emerged and, and is used for all sorts of things. So um, all of these things, all of these kind of um, changes in lifestyle represent uh, opportunities and threats for businesses in the UK. Um, and if you're presented with data in, a, in an exam question about changes in lifestyle, you'd have to think on your feet about what are the potential opportunities, what sort of businesses would benefit from these changes and what sort of businesses um, might need to change their approach.